in this video i will let you know about a simple circuit by using that you can generate a padding pwm duty cycle periodically without using any microcontroller so so far you have utilized the arduino to generate the fading effect of an led by using pwm of padding duty cycle but we can accomplish the same using some discrete components like triple five and uh, op amp to generate such uh, SPWM or sinusoidal PWM signal so basically which is of uh, varying duty cycle PWM signal so when you will uh, attach an LED to, the, to that kind of wave you can basically get a fading effect of an LED so the circuit I will try to explain here so let's see the circuit first so the main funda here is to generate two triangular waves of uh, different frequencies so let's take the first triangular wave as the lower frequency one and the second one as the higher frequency one so the uh, these two triangular waves when they are being compared using a comparator at the output of the comparator you will basically generate a signal that will resemble a spwm signal so this spwm signal is the one which will have the uh, periodically varying pwm duty cycle so uh, the first triangular wave which has the lower uh, the lower frequency so that uh, lower frequency uh, will decide the effect of the fading time for the LED so uh, to uh, simplify things here we will try to utilize a lower, uh, a lower frequency which is visible to our eye so let's take the, the lower frequency something up around uh, 0 0.1 to 1 hertz something which is visible by our eyes so uh, by using that kind of low frequency we can observe the fading in the led and then the higher frequency triangular wave so uh, that higher frequency basically will decide the frequency of the spwm signal so the lower uh, one will decide the duration of the uh, fading of the led and the higher frequency one will decide the frequency of the spwm so if you are using something kind of a uh, low frequency of around one hertz or so so let's uh, make the high frequency one as something of around uh, one to two kilohertz or something like that you can also use high frequency as well so yeah that's the main fund of the circuit so the final resultant of the com comparison will be uh, spwm kind of a signal so when you will attach some kind of high power mosfets or so you can then drive uh, higher power LEDs to make up uh, some kinds of uh, billboards or advertisement boards or like that so you can basically see the fading effect there so the frequency you have to set it uh, accordingly so uh, you have to use RC components as per that so I am utilizing here two triple five timers to generate the two triangular waves LM556 contains two timers in a single package and I'm using this IC and uh, I am uh, using this uh, 555 to generate the triangular wave since I find it uh, easy to generate such triangular waves when you are using the uh, timer in an stable configuration so you can get the clear uh, triangular wave from pin number uh, 26 which are tied together so basically from the pin of the capacitor so you can get the triangular wave so uh, the first triple uh, five timer has been uh, has been set up for generating the the low frequency uh, wave so uh, for my it is of something of around one hertz while the second one it uh, contains a, a lower value of the capacitor so it is used to generate the higher frequency one uh, higher frequency triangular wave so its frequency is something calculated around 1.5 kilohertz so these two signals are compared using this lm358 used as the comparator here so lm358 contains two uh, op amps so i'm using here one of them you can use uh, single op amp ic's like uh, uh, 741 for example so you have any comparator can suffice so uh, using this comparator uh, i can then generate the spwm kind of the signal so and i am finally using here this uh, 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 led using some current limiting register and so yeah this is the final simple circuit so the these are two identical circuits for the uh, generating the triangular wave and then these two are then compared using this op amp used as the comparator so yeah these are the only components to be used in the circuit so first i have utilized the breadboard here to uh, build the circuit to test it here and then for when it worked so i finally made a small uh, pcb using a dot breadboard so i have connected a 9 volt battery to this circuit and i will try to observe the various waveforms here using my dso so i will first probe the 
uh, lower frequency triangular waves so it is uh, it would be of something around uh, uh, 1 hertz so i am probing it here so you can see the triangular wave clearly on the screen of the dso and uh, you can see the corresponding voltage level here also so it is of around 1 hertz and now i will try to probe the higher frequency triangular wave so its frequency will something be of around 1.5 kilohertz so you can see that the voltage levels are quite similar to what we observed for the 1 hertz one so that's why i used the triple five timer here to generate a uniform uh, voltage level triangular wave and now i am probing at the output of the comparator to get the spwm signal so this spwm signal you can see the is varying so the pwm duty cycle is a varying here you can clearly see duty cycle is changing and one can see the depressions here so these depressions basically resemble the point where the duty cycle is exactly zero and then it rises again and it then again falls again to zero and then the cycle repeats so this cycle will depend on the frequency of the lower frequency triangular wave so this is set to 1 hertz so the depressions will appear accordingly to that frequency so now you can set up your desired frequency to get your desired fading effect so you can change the rnc and you, you can get your necessary fading effect so yeah that's the uh, the circuit i have made and uh, you can make your own circuit also so i hope you have learned something new from here so please so please like share and subscribe and i will commit more such videos thank you